What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Prop In. If it is your first time here, I go by the name of Sabia Sabia. What we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful properties in and around South Africa. Today we're at Villa Mirage in Lindatno, Cape Town. As you can see behind me, this is a four-story haven situated around a rose gold boulder. You'll just have to see it on this tour. Four stories of absolute paradise. Massive shout out to Sherry for giving us this amazing opportunity. And if you're looking to stay here for a couple of nights, a couple of days or a month, depends on you. I'll link the details down below. As always, if you do enjoy this video, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Let's go on this tour. Starting the tour in this area, on this floor, it's characterized by two bedrooms, both en suite, and this TV room lounge area. This home is very contemporary architecture, and you'll see it throughout the tour. Coming this side, this here is the first bedroom. You have, throughout the home, you have these wooden bamboo flooring, high ceilings, and plastered white walls. Um, as you can see, this beautiful shelving here, uh, very contemporary in its style. Lovely, lovely slider, sliding door, roller door, shutter doors for the, for the storage. And here you get the bathroom, very raw in its materiality that's used. You get this exposed concrete, which is board formed and is continuous throughout the whole home. And these columns, also exposed concrete, they go throughout the home from the first floor to the last floor. Coming this side, here you just get extra storage. And one, one of the things that is absolutely amazing about this home is that throughout the home, you'll see this boulder that is, is, is present in every single living area, which I think is quite unique in this home. They didn't try to superimpose this home on the site, rather work with the site to achieve what they wanted to achieve. Um, here you get the standalone bath, beautiful Catalan vanity, geo, geo mixer, and obviously the, the water closet here. You still get this granite boulder here. And, and both these rooms are, have access to the balcony area. This balcony does have a, a see-through balustrades, looking at the whole Landano landscape and the ocean. Quite beautiful to see, especially today, as it is a sunny, sunny day. Obviously you have your desks. Uh, this is a floating desk area, sort of overhanging on a side table. Really, really beautiful. And I love the colors here. It reminds me of that um, cognac feel. Coming back this side and going upstairs into the living area. Let's go. 
Coming up, you get these open risers with this beautiful staircase and this side rail. And one of the main themes in this home is the beautiful installation art and the owner's collection of the art which comes from around the world, which you will see throughout this place. This is the main living area, characterized by this very contemporary kitchen space, which has this standalone marble countertop finished with this thick glass uh, panel here. Very, very contemporary, and the light pours into this room perfectly, which bounces off this white finish. Super glass cabin tree, very large in terms of if you're trying to store everything. And behind you is the scullery section where you can store all your non-perishables. And what I really love about this place is this integrated melee appliance, how it's not up front here for everyone to see, but it's behind the, the, the main kitchen area. Obviously, melee appliances, integrated wall. Here you have your wine cooler. And this cabinetry is abundant for if you're trying to store anything really. And you come back this side, you have your dining room table for eight, if my math is correct, for eight people. Quite prime if you're trying to have guests over and really have an intimate type of dining experience. And as you look behind you guys, to my right, you have this wraparound couch, very beautiful designer couch. Um, Italian, all this furniture is imported and Italian. I think my favorite piece is this marble, marble table, which has been um, fabricated and chipped away, really adds to the character of that. And as I, as I spoke about below here, be, below us, you have these concrete columns which have been board formed and they just go throughout the whole structure and wrapping around this whole living area you get these large aluminium windows that that open up and and it takes away that indoor outdoor separation it's well integrated and it seems like one place which i really love but something that I didn't speak about is the ceiling um, the ceiling from the kitchen to the outdoors almost um, slanted and at an angle, which obviously emphasizes the views. By the time it gets that side, it's wi wide, wide open. And this piece here is a statement piece, this fireplace, and one of these will set you back like 50,000. Um, so very, very, very cool. It brings, it, it brings the ambiance to the space. Coming this side, you have this outdoor soft furniture, lovely decking out here, and you have the see-through balustrades which give you that feel of endless space and behind you guys coming this side you have the infinity pool which is heated which is a plus in the winter months in Cape Town but on a day like this it's perfect for an outdoor indoor experience and as I said this this granite boulder sits in and around this home which is amazing to see that um, this project integrated its surroundings quite well Outdoor dining area, a little bit of shampoos and bubbles for, for us later on. No? Yes? Okay. Um, <laughs> outdoor dining area, um, prime for alfresco, alfresco uh, experience and soirees. And this here is the most interesting part about this whole home. You have this sort of cave passageway which goes, I don't know if the lighting will help here, but it's, it's so crazy how this, this boulders, these two boulders almost form an, a point of interest in this home. And as soon as you come through this side, there's stairs that go up to the next level, but I'll show you in this next clip what we mean. We'll just go through the kitchen to the next level where we will see the first master bedroom. Coming into this first master bedroom, you have this obscure door, full length, very large. Your water closet with this exposed concrete finish, which has a handle, side handle, which is quite cool for this uh, concrete uh, walling to have that handle. Behind you guys, as, as we advance into the bedroom, to my left, you get the shower, vanity, dual vanity, 
a very very large large window here with this directional lighting or recessed lighting get geo geo mixer and a catalan vanity which is quite cool um floating vanity ca cabin tree abundant storage in this cabin tree with the slight soft close which we really love and this side you get the standalone bath derivative and from here you even have a view this bedroom is oh what i didn't see when i walked in here is that you have the two shower heads for two shower and one i guess um, if you about that sort of thing beautiful surrounding um, open glass around this you can see at night it's probably scary but here you can see the the pathway which we came up the, the previous downstairs so as you see full abundant abundant real estate here very generous in size and throughout the house you guys would have noticed these art pieces very very cool collection of art by the owner of the property and here you have a, a low a low table tv exposed concrete i love some people think this might be a defect well it is a defect but some people don't really like this sort of thing but i think it's quite it's quite interesting i, I really love that it shows the aging of the place the, pay, the the place's interaction with the space over time and this side here you get this study makeup area whichever whatever you want to use the space for is quite um very very functional i guess um also it's also floating and as you open these i mean guys if you can just look at the view it's sensational and as i open these sliding doors full i think it's closed yep definitely closed and as you open these sliding doors you have access to this large decked out balcony and as you guys can see on your guys's left you have this <laughs> fabricated repurposed sort of <laughs> i don't know what to call it this installation which resembles a mermaid which at night i'm sure it does creep people but it's quite cool um you have this see-through balustrades um, wrapping around this um balcony terrace area lovely lounger area and you get a sense of this whole ladnado area very 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 uh, amazing views and vistas of the overall area coming back this side you also have this suspended uh, fireplace in this room obviously every single room is air conditioned coming back this side what's nice about this level is that when you're staying in that bedroom you have access to this whole floor while well, also the above floor um, you have access direct access to this living area which we will see this pathway is is lit up by the skylight which is beautiful and also these side doors it opens up this area to the outdoor area which integrates quite well and as i've said the artworks throughout this home are uh, really really adds to the space and the ambiance and as you can see i, I had to almost walk around this boulder um, walking down the path the, the passage perfectly placed installation this is the lounge area on the same floor accessible from that first master bedroom which we saw there's a large artwork there which brings a pop of color and i love this natural black uh, color to this countertop yeah the cognac wouldn't finish to these these shelves quite cool when you come this side you have your water closet here you'll need to go back to the to the room just to use the the bathroom have a water closet here with an artwork of course large mirror very very large mirror and very functional and aesthetic shelving of a placeholder for all your wines and all your drinks going upstairs we're going to the other second master bedroom as you come up to this second master bedroom if you did ask me to choose i actually wouldn't know which one to choose because they're so different and I, I love different things about each so we'll just look through this one as you walk up the stairs you're greeted with this actually one thing i did speak about is that um, there's a lift here which goes to every single floor so you don't have to take stairs anyways there's this horizontal fireplace below this tv and you have the bed area here behind you guys there there's a 
study desk work area very functional also suspended light fixtures which are very industrial as you come to the side you notice this large well it sits perfectly with this backdrop it's unobstruct unobstructing the space so it seems it sits there quite seamless um, coming this side to the bathroom area your backdrop is this mountain view which is it's so crazy that this is your backdrop here it's, it's uh, additional storage for anything which you really want to sh store the side shelving cabinetry very cool thing in the, about this cabinetry is that it's a uh, press open I could do that all day coming this side this is the main bathroom area double vanity um, geo fittings geo mixer standalone bath and this walk-in walk-in shower very very large tiling that they use with this with this shower and you have this neat seamless outlet which can't from the for, from the un, untrained eye you can't even notice that there's an outlet which is a good thing and you have a see-through glass here which looks back to where we came from towel rail floating vanity which with this lovely wooden finish obviously large mirror and i love how this wall doesn't go the full length so you don't feel enclosed the space isn't as separate as it would be if the wall did um, go up until the soffit soft clothes i bet you it is put my money put the house on it thank you um, coming back this side from this balcony we have access to the main not the main but the secondary deck area should learn to open doors unlock doors before i go out oh one thing which we didn't talk about from the level below is the plunge pool and this this out, outdoor area which you have also access to from the below level and the first main uh, master bedroom and if you look at the views guys you have this the 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 way in which this home is is constructed your your eye is invited and guided to look at the horizontal views and it's just amazing especially on a day like this coming out from the main bedroom you go out into the deck um as you can see it also has this these see-through balustrades these boulders are also creating natu this natural pathway which guides you that's um to where we're going now and if you look down this is the skylight for the passage which we were downstairs and as you come here this area is it's it's, it's decked out with this see-through balustrades throughout and this area you'd probably use for functions um i don't know it's, it seems like a rooftop type of vibe where you can have anything really to um at this level and these boulders <laughs> And from here, you can see the scale of these boulders. It's quite massive. And, and, and here you can perfectly see what I meant with this mermaid um, installation, which they created with these sort of branches. Very, very interesting. If you made this far in the video, give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you see. If you're planning to come to Cape Town anytime soon and you want to stay in this villa, definitely, definitely hit up Sherry. I'll leave her details down in the description. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I really love this home. The way the boulders sat in between the home and created that natural feel. The, that indoor, outdoor living space was also quite special. I really enjoyed that. Um, if you haven't subscribed by now, probably should subscribe. Uh, this video is almost over. <laughs> the video is almost over, so you probably should subscribe by now and check out our our previous video. That's also quite a special special tour. It's been a it's been a, a a very interesting journey, a journey where we've learned a lot. We've traveled to amazing places, and we we're basically living out our dreams here. So we really appreciate you guys commenting, subscribing, giving us feedback. I think we also need to grow on this side. We don't know everything. We don't have all the answers. We also need to grow this side. So thank you so much to everyone that keeps on helping us with whichever way we deem possible. And from us, Atlas Propin, see you soon.